My name is Amelia, and I'm a library associate here at the 101 Youth Space at the Downtown Library in Tucson, Arizona. This past April, we held our third annual Rising Voices Youth Summit, a two-day event that included an open mic and a summit day focused on developing youth vision for our city. These events were planned by an awesome team of teens at the 101 Space. While the showcase was very successful, the summit day had a much lower turnout than anticipated. The interviews that follow showcase our awesome planners, what they learned from this planning process, and some ideas that they had for making Rising Voices bigger and better next year. M, our YA librarian, facilitated these interviews. A million thank yous to Emma, Riley, Neruda, Brian, and special guest Gideon for sharing their stories. Take it away. Here we are, the 101 Space Workshop. Mm-hmm. We're here for Rising Voices Summit 2K18. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 2K18. The Trace Annual. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty <coughs> snazzy. Um, the turnout's been interesting, to say the least. Yeah. Um, kind of a bummer, but maybe No, not. I don't really think that. I think... Um, this kind of turnout happens. Um, this is, although this is not the first year of this actual event, this is the first year we've really pushed it out there. And I think we're learning, Mm -hmm. and that means we're learning what's going to make people come, what's not, what's a good structure, what's not. And I think, overall, I don't think there's anything to be disappointed about, because in the end, we're learning so much through this, and we know... We're going to grow totally more true. next year. It's totally true. Too. And that it's been really me. grassroots and everything, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we've gotten a lot of support from the community, even though some of them couldn't show up, which is fine. That happens. It's very true. You're so great. So what was, like, the one thing like, that you learned that stood out the most? I think I've learned that you. it's hard to plan what's going to make people come through. Because... Mm-hmm. From the people that have come through, it's been really ex- unexpected reasonings and mm-hmm. stuff. And I think that's really interesting and cool and shows that we need to broaden our expectations and broaden our reach and look at things through more lenses than we do. And I think, I mean, even from the staff that have <coughs> decided to participate in this, I think it's really interesting who has decided to come through for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was great. Because there are some people like you maybe you'd expect to be here that aren't mm-hmm. for staff. And then there are people here that maybe you wouldn't expect so much that are here, too. Mm-hmm. I'm really thankful for the experience, and I'm excited to see how it turns out next year. Yeah, next year. Whoop! Yeah, this year. Whoop! Want to go next, Riley? All right, uh, so um, what have you learned today, and what did you learn through the process? Um, let's see, I guess for, for over the process... Like, I guess it's something I can I can I confront a lot with group projects, at least more recently, because in the past, I really would just like take if I wanted something to be done in a group project, I'd just be like, well, I'll say it once, and if it's you know if no one else likes it, then <laughs> I guess it's fine, and it's you know, whatever. If other people like it, maybe they'll do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, I'm too scared of doing that. But like with this, it's like you know you can suggest it and everyone might like it but like you know you have to step up for the next step and actually do it and take it through and i don't and that's, you know what a what a fa- what a concept <laughs> to learn you have to actually you know See keep going through. with your ideas god <laughs> i know it's a wild concept there but it's when you're learning you're the the prime age for learning it i guess <laughs> what's your favorite thing about the one-on-one space Oh my god. Um, okay, so I like since the day I came here, every member of the staff has been amazing to me and like so wonderful and so like just great. <laughs> like, you know, I at first I was really scared of coming in here because I was like, I don't know these people, I don't know anyone here. Um, but like from day one, um, my. Uh, My now supervisor, I guess, uh, was just like, get in here. You're going to be a part of this family, (laughs) you know? So that's, yeah. That's awesome. Now look who you are. Now here I am. Do you try to do that with new people? Um, 
I try. I'm I'm pretty shy. I feel like to me, but other people probably don't think so because I talk a lot <laughs> and really loudly all the time. <laughs> um, so I I don't know. I think I want other people to feel that same way. It sounds like you did that with Emma. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I guess that's what's happened. Yeah, I I just adopt people on accident. Mm-hmm. You know, like you do. Yeah. What about Graham? Uh, yeah, I've definitely forced Graham to <laughs> to come here. Yeah, 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 definitely, because I, you know. Maybe Seth, too. Yeah, and Seth. I thought, <laughs> yeah, you're right, I just force people to come here. <laughs> like, you're my friend, you're going to come to the yeah. library. <laughs> I'm your mother now. Yeah. Welcome to the, the exactly. family. True Leo. <laughs> <laughs> I expect you here by midnight every single day. There's Otherwise. Your, <laughs> there's your sneaky Leo spirit. <laughs> cool. Anything else you want to add? I think Rising Voices is really, like, a really important thing, and I think we, we tried really hard, and I think next year, now that we know, like, what we're doing, I think it'll get, I think it'll get better. I think we should do a podcast. I yeah, think really I think cool. that'd be so fun. Like yeah, Rising Voices podcast. Yeah. Maybe you and Emma can, like, MC it, and then, mm-hmm. um, like, you can bring in different people. Yeah, I'd love time, to do that. Like, rotate and stuff, but you guys can mm-hmm. start it off, but we could do that, like, maybe on Fridays. Yeah, I think that'd be really fun, because, I mean... Excuse me. Yeah, and like we can have. Um, I was thinking like we can have people perform like short poems or songs like as the outro or intro or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be really fun. Oh, hi Nerida. Hi. How are you doing? Pretty good. We're just recording our thoughts, what okay. we learned. So I mean, I only came to a couple of the meetings, mm-hmm. and we definitely changed it up since prior years. Mm-hmm. I think we learned a lot just mm-hmm. by doing that. Yeah. Um, and we kind of explored things that we wanted to explore and see how it could change. And, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Exactly. So even though, like, we didn't get a massive turnout, we still got enough people and we figured out what we liked about it. Yeah. And we kind of changed it up halfway through. Yeah, we had fun. Something else. I think it was good. So it was a nice get-together. And I think that we take away certain parts. Like, we're going to continue the art showcase, I think, right? We're going to keep on doing stuff like that. Yeah, we had like 35 kids at that last night. That was pretty great. And they didn't even sign up. They were just there. Yep. It was so much fun. It's like the antithesis of this. Yeah, we definitely learned that they need that. Everybody wants that outlet. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. That's cool. And we had college students who weren't even... (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think also if we were able to do a showcase up here in this part, just because people don't know that basement really exists... I know. It's a bit know. difficult to navigate to. That actually room, that's where I saw the Harry and the Potters play, like, a couple years ago, and also the rock band thing. Yeah, we so used it's to been the, utilized rock, before. the rock concert there. It was, that was like, awesome. super fun. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's time to bring that back. Yeah, that space is a good space to use, and I don't think it gets used very often. No, for especially fun stuff. not for, yeah, not for teen stuff. Hey. So how did you help with Rising Voices? Um, I designed most of the artwork uh-huh. for the logo. It was great. I loved it. Thank and we got lots of great compliments about it. Um, what did you learn? What was the one thing that you learned from, from, the, from the planning process? Uh, that I'm more competent in art than I thought I was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you like to do it on your own before? Is that, is that what? Yeah. And what high school do you go to? Uh, Tucson High Magnet School. Oh, okay, cool. And what year are you? I am a junior. Awesome, awesome. Do you do? Any, do you play any instruments or anything like that? I do not. You do not. I mess with with, with, with mixing tracks now and then, but. Cool. What do you use to mix tracks? Um, an app called BandLab. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, how's it going? Good. I think it was a really fun day. Yeah, you having fun? Yeah. Cool. What was your most fun thing? Um, I like making the uh, um, uh, um, zines. Yeah. Those are really fun. What was yours about? I made two. One was about Taylor Swift. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> Not like love her as in that way. But yeah, <laughs> you just love I mean. her, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, also today I'm making something like that, uh, calligraphy. Uh-huh. I'm really good at calligraphy, but I didn't get in time. Oh, well, next year. Yeah. Next year. What's your, and you, you are homeschooled? Correct. Cool. What's your favorite thing to do, like, in your spare time? Um, it's kind of weird, but I like coin hunting. Like, I, I go to a bank, and then I'll look for old, valuable coins. Oh, cool. It's, like, old silver dollars, 
um, wheat pennies, anything that's kind of interesting. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you ever come to the 101 space during the week? No. I, I, it's actually my first time ever coming to this library. Oh, really? Cool. I, I usually only go to a we went to Tibet or Nanini. Kind of sounds a red state. Mm-hmm. That's kind of undeniable. Or, but, but there are Democrats and there are everything else in Arizona. Mm-hmm. And it's really important for the Democrats and the Republicans and everything else for that matter to respect each other because in the end it's all it's it's, it's America we, we need to be one mm-hmm. and that's what we're all fighting for whether we're Democrat or Republican we we all want a better America oh yeah that's so true yeah thank you I'm glad you I'm glad you noticed that today you're welcome thank thanks you. Canadian.